Right, hello YouTube, welcome to another episode of Kerbal Space Program. Today, the last episode I'll be recording today, we have a bit of a rescue mission to run. So, there is a Kerbal stranded on Mimesis surface, basically. Uh, and we have three contracts. The first is to get science off the surface of Mimus. The second is to get that Kerbal off the surface of Mimus and bring them back. And I believe our third is just to put a flag down. We have a rocket ready for this. <clears throat> we have the already at this point well proven uh, moon of 5.1, uh, which is a moon of 5 with a upgraded um, automated landing system. What we're going to do in order to rescue the stranded Kerbal, first of all, we're going to actually bring one of those EVA science kits. Um, crew. So we also need to leave a spot open deliberately. Uh, because we are going to need to bring an extra crewman. Actually, do we have those EVA science kits? No, I guess we... Do we even have them yet? Am I imagining it? No, we don't even have them. Okay, I'm totally imagining that. I guess maybe we've seen it, but we haven't taken it yet. Yeah, so... Basically, we're going to launch a Mudo 4 on half crew. Or, five, or 6 on 5. 5. On half crew. Fly out to Minmus and land it there. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to do the science thing. We'll see if the other crew members can... Transfer out science. I do not know on that one. We're also going to move these so that a Kerbal could drop straight out of the uh, the hatch without clonking the solar panels. This is uh, not really relevant to this mission, but it's a small thing I've wanted to do for a little while. Right. And we're going to launch. I believe we don't need anything particular equipment-wise. We just need to make sure we pick them up. And Jeb is going to be... Actually, the Jeb's done a few missions recently. Val, you can go back out again. Val, you're going to be the one making the rescue attempt. Now, I don't know where on Mimus they're stranded. But we will have a look once we get into orbit around it. We might also uh, start our orbit a bit higher up than normal, because if it is a slightly off-the-beaten-path uh, landing spot we need to go to, we may have to land at a bit of a weird angle. And it'll be easier to adjust from higher up, where it takes a bit less fuel. And uh, less chance of running into a mountain if we have to take a bit of a crosswise path. Right, 100. We need to also remember to adjust the gimbal limit on the uh, uh, Dynamicus once we're in space. Right, uh, what was it? Uh, Moon of 5, number 3, launching in 3, 2, 1, liftoff. Oh dear. I'm glad nothing broke there. That was that got me off oh guard. I thought I turned it on. Right, stop at stage two. Yeah, that's correct. Wait, no it isn't. So that's wrong. Yeah, other stage up to stage three. There we go. I'm amazed nothing broke when we just clonked onto the launch pad like that. I was pretty sure something was going to break. I still love that little effect where the little shot cones or whatever they are like disappear as you get higher up, like one by one. But yes. Uh, I believe rescue missions might be another one where you get the Kerbal for your space center. So we're building up quite a large crew at this point, which is good because we're we're at the point now where we can start building space stations and we might take some of the orbital contracts where you, you sort of rendezvous vessels together and dock together and whatnot. So we'll maybe take some of those as less easy ones and maybe even start building a station. That might even be what we need for the um, space station uh, contracts. It might That might be why we haven't seen the space hotel because we need to... Um, Prove we can dock a vessel in space first before they give it to us. I actually wouldn't be at all surprised if that's why. We haven't seen them yet because we haven't done the rendezvous contract yet. Uh, we'll also be able to start putting our science into actual rocket parts, which would be good. We haven't really plateaued just yet, but we are... You know, it never hurts to improve our technology there. Upgrade to uh, Nervous at some point for a long-range trip to maybe Duna. Nuclear engine, nothing could go wrong here, possibly. 
except literally everything. Yes, at the moment we're cruising to orbit. Oh, this is where we want gimbal limit down to like 10. And no, 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 no. And we want to activate RCS because last time we actually had a little bit too much uh, fuel. We have to be careful on the landing, so otherwise it'll burn up loads. But we actually had a bit too much left for our um, oh, our rapid landing system. Speaking of, we need to turn that off for the moment. Otherwise, we'll try and kick in on a uh, minibus. Yes, what that'll do is, it'll, if you didn't see the last episode, it'll fire the engines when you get close to the surface, and it will arrest your momentum. Or, in other words, in non-fancy words, uh, slow you down really quickly so the parachutes can go off before it smashes into the water or surface like we had on a, uh, a very early mission. Uh, our long-term goal, because I don't believe I've said that in this one either, uh, is to go out to Elu. We want to build a big colony ship and take it out there. For that, we'll need funding, and to fund it, I want to try and build a space hotel using the uh, space tourism contract pack from... Uh, contract manager or whatever it's called. And we're sort of gradually to work it, working towards all of that. We'll probably get a fair bit of our science off of labs. Uh, place some Mimus on that. Uh, but we haven't got... And, and the moon is sort of also prototype colonies. Uh, but we haven't got that far yet. Oh, we still haven't updated this till 45. I knew there was something else we wanted to do. Every time I forget that. Right. That's fine. We will get to that eventually. So, Minmus. Set as target. This is the same sort of thing as normal. Home and transfer. Quick node. 11,000 fuel. See if MacDev can get this one right this time. Again, letting it use up a bit more modern propellant. We had a little bit too much last time. Uh, it did slow us down very rapidly, which was good. That was working as intended. Uh, we were actually going up for a short amount of time, which was not so much. Now, I think Kerbal's parachutes no longer cut out when you stop moving, but just when, you're on, when you've actually landed. But I don't 100% trust it on that, so I'd rather not accidentally stop in midair and have the parachutes cut. Because uh, then we're plummeting the last, like, 100 meters or so. And an area I probably would survive it, as we found out, it could survive a heck of a drop. Uh, but I'd rather not risk it if I could avoid it. Rails off on our own there. Material study. Oh yes, we've still got the science equipment on board, of course. Yes, we will try and gain science from this as well. Again, another like 400-ish, I think it was, we are getting each trip. From Mimnus. As long as we went somewhere new, now, of course, that's not guaranteed that we'll actually go somewhere new. I actually don't know where we're doing this rescue. Probably will be. We've already been to a few biomes, we'll probably be somewhere new. We might even be landing on somewhere that isn't perfectly flat, although it should still be fine. Minmus is not particularly difficult to land on. If it is a difficult spot, we could always land nearby and just walk, walk the Kerbal over. Because uh, once you're near a Kerbal you're trying to rescue, you can take control of them. So if they do have a jetpack or whatever, they can sort of fly the last top. Or walk it, depending on where you are, of course. Interesting path. The moon looking nice as ever. Small engine. Spitting out bits of waste gas, I'm guessing. Might even be the generator. That might be a little turbine there. I'm not quite sure. Ship is sunk. No, that's a little turbine there, isn't it? That's a turboprop. Maybe part of the alternator, I'm not sure, but either way. Either way, it looks pretty. Either way, we'll be able to gather a small amount of science. Um, and even if potentially we can't, Bantida can't transfer the science over. We don't know what class this Kerbal is yet. It is entirely possible that, I think it was she, is a, um, is a scientist, in which case we'll be able to make use of their help to, uh, transfer science across. Just because we're rescuing them doesn't mean we can't give them a job to do on the way back. Right. Uh, oh boy, we are well high of where we're supposed to be. Uh. Can we do that? We can. Okay. 
Yeah, we are way off target. Uh, or not way off target, but well, way too high up. We can do a landing from up here, nothing stopping us, but we actually probably want to be a bit closer, if anything. We do want to put it into stable orbit first, because we need to check where we're landing and also find them. Oh, that looks like a little lander icon. That could be it. Well, Tambus is scrap. That's probably it. And that does give us a longitude and latitude, or whatever it is. I think, yeah, I think that's right, longitude and latitude. So we can use that for MechJob's guidance computer, the landers there. How well it does at this is variable. Uh, I have had one point where I visited, um, there is a little Neil Armstrong shrine on the Mun. Uh, in the same location on the Mun, I believe, is where the real eagle landed. Um, I had MechJob try and land me there at one point using the coordinates, and it literally landed me on the statue next to the real lander, or next to the statue lander. It was great. It's like, oh, I've literally landed on the plaque. <laughs> I see. Next, hurry up, sacrifice. So I'm not using too much fuel, so we're all good. <coughs> we're still in this tank, which is good because we dropped that once we're going to do the landing. Otherwise, it screws up MechJab having two different uh, strength engines. MechJab is good, but not perfect. It definitely has some situations it doesn't handle as well. That's definitely off. Yep, false. It's a cool piece of kit, but we do not want it firing early because otherwise it will screw up our MMS landing and then we won't have it for the cabin landing. But we are getting quite good at these flights now. Uh, this, this particular rocket, this is definitely a proven design at this point, I would say, because this is about its fourth flight. In various forms, maybe even fifth at this point, given we tweaked it a bit. Oh, well, Tamvis, you have crashed in an awkward spot. It's crashed practically on the South Pole. Uh, on the one hand, it will be a new landing spot, which is good. We'll get some more science. But on the other hand, we've got to land there. Right. I'm actually going to... What would it cost fuel-wise? To change our... Uh, what is it called? I think it's that. No, that's not it. Um, inclination! There we go. What it cost? Change it to 90. Oh! Not much. Yeah, I think we'll do that, because then that brings us in on a probably a cheaper approach for landing. Change inclination to 90 degrees. Yeah, inclination is just what angle you're orbiting at, so perfectly flat around the center would be zero. This is probably about 25. Maybe even tells us. Nope. And then that would be 90 degrees vertical, like we did the uh, polar launch a little while back. I think it might have been the last episode. Yeah, the last episode, wasn't it? The polar tourist uh, mission. <coughs> Whereas today we've got the Polar Rescue Mission. And again, we're still only using fuel from the transfer stage. We're not losing the fuel we need to land. We're burning up monopropellant gradually, which is again good, because we don't want too much. We don't want too little, but we don't want too much. And area adds thrusters that stop us more than anything else. There we go. Doesn't need to be super circular, but it's done a... Actually, that's done a pretty good job. That was quite a good maneuver. Right, Tambus' scrap is at... we got a landing guidance here. Uh, and target coordinates. We are at 77 by 44 by 34. 40, 44 by 34 south, I believe that was. South. 0 by 45 by 21 east. Yeah, that's taking us pretty much right on top. Right. Land is at that target. If you wonder why I gave the engines a very quick pulse there, as well as to just kick us away from the debris. If you, I sometimes find when MakeJeb stages, it doesn't yet know for certain quite how much thrust it's definitely going to get from its engine when it fires. So I said that's fine. If you just fire it for a very short pulse, it quickly learns, okay, this is exactly how much power I have, and it will become a little bit more reliable on future maneuvers. We actually will let it use RCS for small, uh, small adjustments here, because we haven't tried to burn up a bit, and we want to land very close to Tambus. So we don't want to be making a walk a long way, because it's slow. Uh, 
Uh, oh, no parachutes. Do not waste our chutes. We cannot repack them and canvas. We don't know what she is. If she's an engineer, she would be able to repack them, but we don't know that for certain. Or at all, for that matter. It's going to maybe make a very small RCS adjustment. Nope. There she is. Not sure if it's actually burning at all when it makes those small adjustments, but... Yes. Uh... Now, you can do this sort of thing manually, of course. Uh, but you'll be spending a bit longer fiddling around with maneuver nodes, and also, obviously, it's a bit sketchier. I am... As said uh, in previous episode, I am perfectly happy to let the autopilot handle a lot of fiddly stuff. I find it more fun sort of watching the missions always just play out in a sense. And also, yeah, I do the occasional manual bit, but I, I get a lot more fun from the building side of things and the, and the flying a lot of the time. Aside from planes, because I do like flying the planes. Uh, we just haven't had a particularly good opportunity to do so yet or reason to do so. Now, the only thing I'm noticing here is we're sort of coming in on a sort of Midmus Mountain. We're, we're landing at a bit of an awkward spot. Now, the gravity's low, so we should get away with it, even if we come in a bit awkwardly, but there's a good chance we're going to be on a slope and fall over here. I rather suspect. Uh, if we do, we might be okay. If we fall, If you fall over on the moon, you have a problem. Uh, because the gravity is probably enough, unless you've got Decent RCS thrusters to stop your craft picking itself back up again. Minmus, you'll probably get away with it. As long as you've again got thrusters or at least a reasonable little bit of torque and you're not too heavy. It's not going to be a critically steep slope, but it is looking like it could be a good 30 degrees, which is obviously not good. Uh, the other thing is, I hope it doesn't land us on Tambus. I hope it just puts us very nearer. No match yeah, but could well do either. There's definitely side data from the surface. Okay, now it's going to put us down near it. That's good. And we might be flat-ish landing site. Yeah, kill the horizontal speed and then let's just drop. Yeah, we're definitely going to be on a slope that's steeper than I'd like. Probably going to have to kick the SAS in the moment it touches down. Or deliberately make it fall into the side of the slope. So that we have something to land on, perhaps. So to lead against, rather. Alright, it is iffy, but despite being on a very steep slope, we are down. Let's observe the goo. Let us log the pressure. Let us take space's temperature, however that works. Or Memphis's temperature, and also let us have a look at the materials. It's still dessert related. Let's take a crew report. Valentina rescue mission away. Oh, get off the rocket, because it's tipping. I think that's because we're on it. Oh, I think it's going to go. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Alright, that didn't work. <laughs> well, that doesn't say at all about Mimus's low gravity. I'm not sure what will. It didn't break the solar panel. She touched down gently enough that the solar panel is fine. On the other hand, that has happened. Um... Well, it seems to have tripoded itself for the moment, so that's... We'll consider that a, uh, a problem for later. Let's deal with Priority 1, and let's rescue Tambus. She landed on a rock, or... She, no, she hit the air. What am I looking at? Oh, no, okay. I was going to say that didn't look quite right. Uh, give us a height above the ground, that's... Very useful. What has she landed in? Is that like a tent? Oh no, it's just a single command pod, I think. That's all that's left. Man, you had a rough landing. Hello, Tambus. 
Are you? Okay, and what do you have on you? You have a full tank of gas. You have stuff. Okay. Okay, it's just looking okay. Take a surface up, or why not? You came all this way, you might as well complete your mission. You can plant the flag for us. Uh, third. Oh, okay, she works for C7, apparently. Third minimus landing right. A joint venture between BWI space program and C7 aerospace. Oh, C7 was the... Uh, if you remember, I said about a planes model way back in an earlier episode. That's who I was thinking of, C7. That was the model. I believe, anyway, took place here to save the life of one canvas Herman. So far, <laughs> at time of placing the flag, it's gone pretty well. I'll speak again later, uh, depending on whether that's still there or not. Right. Black pot is done. We have saved Tambus, but we need to recover it. Which also means getting her back into the rocket that we've knocked over. Tambus is a scientist, as it turns out. Oh, excellent. She can transfer the data across. That's perfect. <clears throat> so we'll definitely recover the data as well. Maybe that's why they crashed. Maybe they shouldn't have sent scientists out on their own. Just like the... The scientists don't know how to work the SAS. <laughs> that is the engineer, apparently. Oh, the only thing that might be a problem is, have we landed on the hatch? No, we haven't. Oh, thank God. If we landed on the hatch, which I hadn't even thought of, we might have had a problem there. I did. We wouldn't have been able to get the Kerbal out in the first place, I suppose, so. Like the data, I think we might have to hover to get it, because you have to be quite close to collect the data. Collect the, collect the data. And of course, we can't leave Valentina behind. She came out all this way to help. We didn't come in to rescue one Kerbal and leave another behind. But yes, I believe we'll be up to our Kerbal limit, or at least very close to it. Now that we've saved our Tambus, I think we might have one slot left, maybe. Uh, we can increase it by increasing the astronaut complex, and we will want to later, probably. So if we're going to be setting up some bases and colonies, we're probably going to need a fair few crews. Mission the laboratories need two scientists uh, to operate, I believe, for the most part. So right now we have the problem of the rocket is on its side. Uh, however, again, low gravity, as mentioned, we've got decent RCS. Hello, hit film, telling me the videos finished rendering. Kick ourselves off the surface, up to 20 kilometers, that's fine. Engage autopilot. Engage, take us to our current latitude, whatever that is. Do a little spin. Did you feel like showing off? And up we go. Yes, we have. We have scientific data, we have planted a flag, and we have Tambus, so I believe this mission is probably going to be a success at this rate. We've also burned off the mono some of the monopropellant as we planned, maybe not quite as much as I'd like, but enough, I would say, quite happily. We can always actually burn a little bit off during re-entry if we need to. The Nereid does come in quite hard. <laughs> Alright, we also need to activate... Yep. Activate the automatic uh, landing uh, landing arresting system, or momentum arresting system, whatever you call it. Momentum's the right word. Uh, velocity arresting system. Yeah, VAS sounds kind of cool. We'll call it that. Right. Landing thrusters, I guess. Right. Uh, maneuver planner. Return from moon. No. Nope. Return from moon. Not go to another planet. We're not going that far. Right. 30. Yeah, it's not 30 kilometers, but we'll take it. Right. It's not even close to 30 kilometers, Mac Jeb, but okay. Yeah, Return from Moon seems to be a slightly jankier module compared to some of the others. Just again? Guess we'll take that. I don't think we can keep it, but. Actually, wait, we can, yeah, because we can do a spacewalk. We can have a recover the extra data. 
and might as well, frankly. I think we've got an EBA report for out here. We might also have our um, quickly reset the two other modules and see if we can gain even more data. Mm, about two loads worth in one trip. He's an asset to the team already. Right. Hold still. And if you get out. EBA report. Keep. Restore. And observe the mystery goo. Click the data. Yeah, okay, cool, we can. Restore. Observe the materials bay. 100. Very nice. Collect the data. Get back in the pod. Sweet. We got two, uh, two worth for those two. Close the doors. Close the doors. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Sneeze away from the microphone. Right. Uh, change. Periaps. Uh, 20. Next step ups. Execute. We're going in fast. Seems to work quite nicely with an area, so. And we'll do our normal uh, warp helper assisted uh, lunge into the atmosphere. Coming in at an odd angle this time. I don't know where we're going to end up, but. We could adjust it neatly, but I'm trying to do things fast, so we'll take the plunge. Plus, it seems to work out okay with this particular setup, so, you know, there's that. My palette looking about right. We've got a load of world first. I don't know what that was. Well, we've got a world first. I don't know what that'll be. Was, oh, what it'll be rendezvousing a craft, perhaps? Because we got quite close to the debris, maybe? I actually don't know. Or first rescue? I genuinely don't know what that would be. Or la oh, no, it might be a landing. Might be landing in a new area of Minmus we haven't been to before. Right. Well, you need to begin. Retrograde. 15 seconds to atmospheric entry. Uh, landing at night. Not ideal, but okay. Landing over desert. It's like uh, we're either going to hit a mountain range or we're going to skip over it. I'll look at it. Uh, I would say rough terrain landing. Not ideal, but okay. We always managed water landings with an area before, which again is fitting, given it's a water spirit name, and again given the. Hi, Dave. We did in a very early episode. Uh, for those who weren't there for that, we uh, we might have hit the water at about 150 in that pod, and it somehow survived. It stripped everything off the craft apart from the uh, the Neria uh, capsule, and we actually got a um, a world first for diving below 10 meters below the water surface. We got an achievement for diving. It was like, ooh. space dive, right? Once that starts to look like an overheat, we'll detach. The longer we burn for, the longer we can slow down. Yeah, everything's going spicy now. As our iron engines. Yeah, notice we actually decelerate slower than that. Which is a bit unusual. We're, we're getting through without burning up, but a little bit of spin to uh, keep things a little cooler. We are starting to decelerate now, but it's a little bit a little iffy. We're trying to use too, we're trying to use a bit more RCS up. We don't want to use too much, but we turn it off there. I think that'd be all right. This is active now, definitely. Yeah. Might be put it up, tented again to put it up a bit. 850. So we are coming in fast this time. The 
let's set this for yeah that's set for below where the uh the maneuvering things will fire uh, we want surface speed shoot out it's still coming in very quick you know, the Nariad, for whatever reason, I don't know if it's just heavy or, or what, but it does not slow down like the other capsules do. Maybe it's a weird aerodynamic quirk. It might even be deliberate to do the cool rocket-assisted landing. I do not know. But anyway, yes, we're plunging. 850. Our rocket and uh, our rocket assist will fire. Like any out of a mech anime. Yeah, we're actually getting Sonic Sonic wins as well. We are going fast. Oh, pulls back. Oh, we nearly goofed that. I forgot we needed to throttle up. Okay. <laughs> we still ended up going upwards a little bit. Still looks super cool though. <laughs> Even with a little spin. I still love that little way that works. Just the way that works, really. I don't have anything else with that. And any moment now, we will sploosh. Sploosh confirmed. Enjoying the swim there, uh, Tambus, Panthena? Recover. Excellent. Triple whammy on the missions, then. We got all three, as uh, as planned. I do I do appreciate it when the missions uh, link together a bit. And I have been trying to charge myself a little bit more of the missions on this, trying to take a few... Like the rescue one that I wouldn't always necessarily take. From the grounds of like, hey, it could be a bit of fun. So yeah, sometimes we'll skip out on a lot of the missions and just go for just pushing forwards. Just landing on other plants and things. Right. 663 science. Very nice. Tambus is leveled up to level 2. And I think we keep her. We got some contracts things done. Let's save Tambus for 22,000. She is part of the Space Rogue crew. She has joined us. Art flag on Minimus, done, 150,000. Crew transferred in Minimus, ah, so that's what we got for that, for picking her up. Rescue Tambus for 233,000. And Science Data for 66,000. Also up to about 700 odd Science. Uh, we've got a little bit of time, so we can have a look and consider what we might want to do next. Uh, we will probably, though, take this. It doesn't pay well, but in fact, we'll probably lose money on it. But... Rendezvous two vessels, and I think there's also one to transfer crew across between two of them. Uh, I believe is what will unlock us the next part of the space tourism thing, and we want that, so we will take that. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else particularly great that we want at the moment. Out of these ones. Oh, anyone got added, but I didn't even see it. Anyway, that'll be fine. We will do that. R&D, what do we want? Which is a good question, actually, because I don't know. Scanning technology... It allows us to scan the surface of planets, see what kind of resources are down there, which we can use later. Electronics would unlock us the last science, I think the last science experiment, or one of the last science experiments, which is the seismometer. That is a science uh, instrument that basically is reading for seismic activity, basically is the ground shaking. Uh, so it only works on planets. You have to land to use that, or on asteroids, I believe, as well. High power electrics would give us fuel cells, which burn a small amount of fuel to power things. Good if you're example uh behind a mountain where the sun is uh and your, and your solar panel stop working there's more batteries and another antenna could be an option just don't need heat management really electrics upgrades for the most part yeah just unlock the next so batteries and generators save for that one we're nearly at ion propulsion which is a very um it's basically an engine type that i think i said about these before they use power and a small amount of uh, noble gas for it to be a very uh, efficient uh, but very low power engine. We can get the first generations of those. But specialize second advanced science tech and whatever this one is. Don't have anything maybe? Oh no. That has nothing. That has a bunch of stuff. Oh this has um. Oh I saw you. Okay. So these are the mining modules. This is the stuff that can like drills that will drill stuff up and then Converters that can turn it into resources so we can refuel on the fly. Uh, which is probably a bit beyond our missions at the moment, but it's something we could do. 
Graviola? Oh, I think that's like a high value material you can mine. Command pods of various kinds. I think we're okay at the moment, actually. These are. That's uh, so the Pandora is a four man pod, which I think is quite large, actually. The rear is just a two man pod, really? Not quite sure what we need that for. I think it's. I think it says there's some powerful extra features. Rover parts, which we can't actually get to just yet. Specialized control is RCS stuff. Advanced landing is more legs. I think we're okay on landing legs at the moment, but these will be useful at some point. The LS2 landing. Various types of engines, propellers and whatnot. Actuators, I believe, has some... Not docking ports, it has the clamps. We could use these to literally claw into an asteroid and grab it. Dock with it uh, to move it around and things. We'll probably want that at some point. Don't need it just yet. We probably want docking ports as one of the main things. Now that we can dock, we probably need the parts to do it. Which I thought this had some of, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's more just uh, attachment points and things. All useful stuff. A two meter fairing. Yeah, that would also be useful. Precision propulsion gives us some small liquid engines. And tanks and various other little bits and pieces. The Twitch is quite a useful small engine. Small side rocket booster. There is, of course, nuclear propulsion for the nerve, which I'd also like at some point. Large volume fuel tanks. What are these two? Is this just a... Uh... Not working. Yeah, we don't necessarily need that. Um, where was that early? What well, got very heavy? Actually, I hadn't noticed this one. We've also got very heavy rocketry. Apparently, again, I hadn't noticed. Uh, has some engine, large engines, uh, some uh, pre-built habitats. She might try and launch some of at some point. Various types of engines, the various sizes, fuel flow breaker. Ah, that's the space shuttle engine, the Vector. It has a very, it's expensive uh, for its size, but it is powerful. It is pretty efficient. At any altitude, and it has a huge gimbal on it. It can tilt a long way to keep your rocket stable if it needs to. Also, the Mammoth is quite a large launching engine. Clydesdale, big solid rocket booster. And some big engines like the Mastodon, which is, I believe, quite powerful. And the Wolfhound, which is very efficient. Good uh, space module engine, that one. Now, I think, like I say, we want docking ports. I think though the first one of those is actually in miniaturization, which we'd actually skipped over. Yes, and it has that EBA science pack I thought we had already. Yes, we'll take the cheap miniaturization. We'll take nuclear propulsion because I want access to nervous. Uh, as I mentioned before, these are... It's a real-world concept NASA wanted to do that they haven't been able to yet because of nuclear laws. Um, it is basically a nuclear reactor which you run fuel through to, uh, to generate thrust. Because the fuel gets extremely hot because you're using you're basically using it to cool the reactor... Uh, it is actually very efficient. It actually has 800 efficiency as opposed to about the 400 that's good on most other things. Um, there's two different types of those and it leads on to more advanced ones. We could also get the first nuclear reactor. Uh, I thought improved nuclear propulsion had something in it. Oh, we might be missing a mod actually. I believe there's one of the nuclear parts mod that I normally have and I'm not seeing it. I think we're missing one. So I may be trying to remember to add that for the next episode. What do we want? next uh okay we could have the first nuclear reactor it's small needs a bit of cooling but it generates steady stream of power we could also go for specialized construction because that unlocks a lot and it gives us the the full size docking port in fact i think we will have that because the one we had unlocked at the moment is the junior and we shall probably be good to save the rest there i would imagine we could also take some more rcs thrusters maybe but i think we're okay we haven't particularly need to use any of those just yet no, we will take this. We'll take advanced exploration because that gives us our first lab and we want that. Labs are busted when it comes to getting science. If you don't mind waiting around for a bit and unless you've got a contract with a time limit, you don't. There is no time limit in this game aside from those. Um, You can use it to gather a lot of science. So with, as the sun rises and time warp, there it comes. Should call it there on that episode. Hopefully you've had fun. Uh, and next time, we'll have a crack at maybe starting a little bit of a space station. So I'll see you guys all next time. Goodbye.